Yes, the Republic's tactics for the first battle of Geonosis were terrible and they paid the price for it. Here's the thing, the average clone trains for 9 years. This covers 9 years of shelter, food, and training. One clone alone can cost the Republic more than a million credits as a result. On the other hand, battle droids do not require this much support. They are easily made in 10 minutes and they will always outnumber clones. The Republic's answer to this is that the clones are much more effective fighters than droids. After all, the typical clone had killed 200 droids by the end of the war. The Jedi though led a full attack against the battle droids at the Battle of Geonosis, the only situation in which a clone is worse compared to a battle droid. Over 150,000 clones died in the battle as a result of this. Yes, it is hard to navigate an open area, but the Republic could have bombed the droids from the air or just landed their troops closer to the droids. The Republic had complete air control, but they did not use it to the fullest. So basically, the Republic's strategy for the first battle of Geonosis was terrible, and this caused them to fail.